This brings back a lot of good memories. Taiyuan Children's Park. When I was in primary school, this is always the first choice for the school picnic or school holidays trips. We even came here to pay our respect to the heroes who sacrificed their life for the People's Republic of China. There is a monument. I will show you the monument. Is the monument? When we were small, on the tomb sweeping day, every students, every students required to make some little like a flower thing, and、uh, we offer the flowers to this monument to these heroes here, and then we will have a picnic in this park. That was thirty, thirty-three, thirty-four years ago, <laughs> long time ago. Oh my God! Damn good. Chinese call this the "peng peng chu." The mean it means people supposed to hit others for excitement. When I was small, it was a luxury thing to do. <laughs> Not anymore. Now this is the Wenying Lake. A lot of people have a boat ride on this lake. When I was small, this lake this lake looked enormous. <laughs> now this is how big it is now. And 33, 34 years ago, there was no, there were no such buildings. Wan Zilo, Wan is、uh, actually the swastika.、Uh, in China, it pronounced Wan means ten thousand. This was built by Shanxi warlord Yan Xishan in 1930s for his father's birthday. So this is a 80 years old building. But we can only see the swastika shape from above, so probably you cannot see it from my video. And、uh, this building, when I was small, this building was like a place for kids to learn astronomy. It is not what it is, what it used to be anymore. I can see people practicing calligraphy, writing brush, deep little bit of water. This old master is going to show you how to write Chinese calligraphy. Ah,、oh, 写得好。山西 ，That's the name of、uh, my province. So these three characters, 山西省 The province of Shanxi. Is you saying foreign? No. Then you say English. For foreigners, see. 
and that's the name of my city, Taiyuan City. It's pretty good, but uh, I learned calligraphy when I was small too. Uh, calligraphy is uh, some kind of a skill make you very humble. Even after you practiced like uh, your whole life, you still call yourself, I am a student of this calligraphy. This is the skill you can never reach the top. Keep you humble. My father told me like in his teenager time or even 20, early 20s, in his 20s, he used to swim in this lake. A lot of young boys like him, they used to swim in this lake. <laughs> this bridge still remains the same. In the children's park, there are some old cultural relics, including this Chinese pagoda. And this is not this is not a simple brick. This actually is a liu li, kind of like glass, glazed, huh. ring color. I have no idea how old it is. But, uh, I'm sure it's pretty old. 200 years old, I guess. Water lily. And Chinese pavilion. And koi fish. And zigzag bridge. <laughs> Stone inscriptions of Chongde Lu. I remember this part. Hard to see. Hometown rich in whipping willow trees. Now I finished the Taiyuan Children's Park. It actually has an official name, Wenying Park. Wenying, also the name of the lake, Wenying Lake, uh, official name. But, uh, it also known as the Taiyuan Children's Park. That's it for this place. Missed all the time past. <laughs>